ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Nursing Education Tutor. My name is Cheryl Spencer. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia and how to treat hypoglycemia. So in a previous video, you learned about the fundamentals of diabetes. And you understand when we talk about diabetes mellitus, we're talking about glucose, insulin, getting into the cell, using glucose for energy. So regardless of whether your client, the person has type 1 diabetes, which is a consequence of no insulin, or type 2 diabetes, which is one of two problems, either inadequate amount of insulin or issues getting across the cell membrane, one of the main complications of diabetes and um, oral hypoglycemics or insulin is hypoglycemia. So I'd like to talk about that in, in, the, in this video. So normal glucose, 70 to 110. Most resources will tell you that hypoglycemia is a blood glucose less than 60. So you say, what happens between 60 and 70, right? So a true hypoglycemia is a gluc uh, glucose below 60. Common signs of hypoglycemia or signs of hypoglycemia could be a person just irritable, uh, confused, just shaking, just just shaking of the hands. Not not you know it doesn't have to be this exaggerated. Just tremors, shaking, irritability, change in mental status. You don't want them to get to a point of loss of consciousness, but that can happen. You want to intervene so you don't get to that point. Most people, when their sugar is low, the brain senses that you have the sense of hunger and you feed, you feed yourself. Not everybody have that feeling. So hypoglycemia, those could be some of the symptoms. Change in mental status, confusion, confusion shaking, dizziness. Your concern about dizziness is a safety. If they get dizzy, they may fall. You don't want the person to fall and hurt themselves. Other things can cause dizziness, such as a low blood pressure. But with this, we're talking about um, hypoglycemia and low uh, blood glucose. So be able to um, identify those signs and identify them early. How you treat hypoglycemia is based on two things. Is the person alert, able to follow commands, or if they're not? If the person is alert and can follow commands, you can give them oral hypoglycemia. So you'll hear us talk about 1515. It's give 15 grams of a quick source of glucose, wait 15 minutes and check. I'm gonna give you some examples of quick sources. Orange juice, four ounces, not the whole bottle, Four ounces, you don't want the sugar to then go so high, then you have another problem. Four ounces of a quick source of carbohydrate. If you have some Coca-Cola, this is not the time for your focus to be on nutrition. Your focus is getting glucose to the brain right now. You can survive having some crappy soda rich with glucose now. Four ounces. And if you're someplace and all you have is this sugar, you'll take... 15 grams in some water and give it to that person. Here's some quick sources. Remember, four ounces. Ideally, you want to stay away from that. Give them quick source of orange juice, apple juice, ginger ale, whatever you find, whatever you have in the hospital. If the individual is not responsive, do not put anything in their mouth because then you have a risk of them aspirating, getting that fluid into their lungs. This is when you give something um, intravenous glucose. So be able to identify your signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia, irritable, dizziness, shaking, confusion, um, just really not themselves. If you have a glucometer close by, check it. Please do not spend a whole lot of time running around for a glucometer when the blood glucose is going down. So in a situation, what should the nurse do first? Run to the other unit to go find a glucometer or give the person four ounces of quick sources of hypoglycemia? That is your choice. So identify uh, the causes. Hypoglycemia could be that a patient uh, didn't eat or they took insulin and did not eat or they took too much insulin and you learn later that one of the complications long-term complications of individuals with diabetes is impaired vision so they have impaired vision they may 
uh, administer themselves the wrong amount of insulin. Um, in some in home care, um, home care agencies and even nurses, we teach families. Sometimes you'll have the pharmacy may pre-fill the syringes, the nurse may pre-fill the syringe, but many times hypoglycemia in the home is often because an individual received too much insulin or they took the insulin and did not eat. So just to recap, hypoglycemia is a com one complication of diabetes. It could be related to um, inadequate nutrition, glucose, or too much insulin. Um, it's categorized as a blood glucose less than 60. And if you believe your person has hypoglycemia and they're alert and can follow commands, you can give them four ounces of quick source of carbohydrates, four ounces of orange juice, could be four ounces of cola, apple juice. We don't really uh, promote milk anymore, but uh, skim milk has sugar in it, but other issues with um, lactose intolerance, just stick with um, orange juice for now, cola, and those are some quick ways. So you want to give 15 grams of a quick source of carbohydrate, wait 15 minutes and check it again. And again, if this is in a hospital situation, you may be alerting something such as what's called a rapid response because you want um, the team to come and evaluate this person to really minimize the chance of them going into a period of um, unconsciousness and a more severe situation. So that's really a quick video on hypoglycemia. As always, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I hope you stay. Have a good day.